Hello and welcome to part two of why I don't want to teach certain grade levels. So this time around, I'm going to tell you all about why I never, ever, 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 ever want to teach middle school ever. For starters, I don't know anyone anywhere who actually enjoyed their middle school experience. This means a whole lot of things, but mostly it means that most of those kids are going to be A, kind of angsty, B, pretty miserable, and C, probably uncooperative, which is really a nasty cocktail for a teacher to have to deal with. Also, pretty much all middle schoolers are trying to discover who they are. You know, they knew who they were in elementary school, they were an elementary schooler, but now they're in that weird phase between definitely not being a kid anymore, but still definitely not being a teenager slash adult type thing. So they're trying on all these different personas, trying to figure themselves out, and it is hard as hell to keep track of all those changes if you're a teacher. I mean, you're trying to cater to each student's needs, which is, you know, a good thing for a teacher to do, but if each kid is changing all the time, you really can't do that, and that's just hard and makes the teacher miserable and crazy! In middle school, the content is definitely better than in middle school. You know, as a teacher, you don't have to teach all the subjects, you just have to teach, you know, what you're really good at, which makes my job a whole lot easier if I would ever teach middle school. However, not every student likes every subject. So you're going to have problem children, and if they're anything like the last two things I talked about, they're going to be very disruptive and make a point to not do the work they're given. And that just puts more stress on the teacher, trying to encourage these students who don't want to do the work to do the work, and that just doesn't help anything. I'm going to say what we're all thinking. I'm, I'm going to do it. Middle schoolers are awkward. We've all been there. We all know middle schoolers are just awkward. They're going through changes that they don't understand, really, and they're also having to deal with all the hormones that come along with those changes, and that's not making the changes any easier. So what do they do? They let it out in illogical and irrational ways, and... At the same time, they can't stand the other gender. Ugh. Middle schoolers' lives are just so hard. And the only way they can really deal with their awkwardness is by finding other people that are just as awkward as they are. Which is not really all that hard in middle school, but then you have to find people that are actually nice to you, despite your awkwardness, and despite their awkwardness. And a lot of times, you just can't find that. Because, let's face it, some middle schoolers are just ruthless. They are ruthless and cruel for no good reason, other than they probably feel bad about themselves so they have to take their anger out on someone else. For instance, middle school girls, I don't think there's a meaner thing on this whole planet. Like, I, I don't like little girls because they scare me. Fun fact of the day, there you go. But middle school girls are not scary, they are just brutal, and they will tear you down until you are the rubble of what used to be you. That is unbelievable. So I will leave it at this. Middle schoolers who are watching this, if there are any, because I know we have a grand total of about five viewers and I know most of you are not middle schoolers if any of you are middle schoolers. However, middle schoolers who are watching, let me tell you this. I never want to teach any of your grades. However, life gets easier after middle school, and life also gets easier after high school, and also life gets easier after college, and also life gets easier down the line. So just know things just kind of go up from here. And don't worry about all the crap you're going through now because it gets better. It really does. So hang in there, don't do anything stupid, and stay classy. I will see you all sometime soon.